Let me ask you this, in a sense, uh, philosophical question. We've gone a little bit into philosophy today. Uh, I believe, many people in my own state believe, that health care is a right, R-I-G-H-T, regardless of income, that every American has the right to the best quality health care that the system can offer regardless of income, that if you're a low-income kid, you're a wealthy kid, you have the same opportunity to access the health care system. Do you believe that? I believe that um, every person ought to get good health care. And the Hippocratic Oath says that I would provide health care regardless of whether the person pays me or not. So I definitely believe that people need health care. Give the mic over to Senator Paul. Thank you very much. Um, with regard to the idea of whether or not you have a right to a health care, you have to realize what that implies. It's not an abstraction. I'm a physician. That means you have a right to come to my house and conscript me. It means you believe in slavery. It means that you're going to enslave not only me, but the janitor at my hospital, the person who cleans my office, the assistants who work in my office, the nurses. If you have a right to their services, basically once you imply a belief in a right to someone's services, do you have a right to plumbing? Do you have a right to water? Do you have a right to food? You're basically saying that you believe in slavery. You're saying you believe in taking and extracting from another person. Our founding documents were very clear about this. You have a right to pursue happiness, but there's no guarantee of physical comfort. There's no guarantee of concrete items. In order to give something concrete or someone's surface, you gotta take it from someone. So there's an implied threat of force. If I'm a physician in your community and you say you have a right to health care, do you have a right to beat down my door with the police, escort me away, and force me to take care of you? That's ultimately what the right to free health care would be. If you believe in a right to health care, you're believing in basically the use of force to conscript someone to do your bidding. Now, just because it's a noble thing to believe that we are obligated as Christians, we are obligated through the Hippocratic Oath, we have always done this. Since the beginning of modern medicine, we have always provided 100% access. I do it in exchange for privileges. I do it because I believe in the Hippocratic Oath, but my hospital also says to me, you can only operate in this hospital if you agree to see everyone coming through the emergency room. I always have, we have always treated, we have always had 100% access through our emergency room. Those were for emergencies, they're not the best place for primary care, we all agree with that. But we've always had 100% free access. I think it's fair to say that Senator Paul and I have some slight philosophical differences. I, uh, my profound question to Dr. Krauss is, do you, as an employee at a federally qualified health center, consider yourself as a slave? I love my job. I chose to work there. I do not feel like a slave. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Draper. The implication, uh, again, from my friend Senator Paul, is that we have kind of solved the problem of health care access in America, that, the, that any place in the country, I guess, that anybody who has a problem, uh, if you're on Medicaid, if you have no health insurance, maybe if you have health insurance, you just walk in the door tomorrow and find a doctor to treat you. Uh, is that true, in your well, judgment? Well, there's a huge body of literature that discusses the difficulties particularly Medicaid beneficiaries have to finding a physician. There are many physicians who are unwilling to accept Medicaid patients, and also for those who are uninsured face equally challenging or maybe more so challenging access issues. All right, my last question uh, is for Dr. Krauss. Again, picking up on Senator Paul's comment. As you know, Vermont is moving toward a Medicare for all single payer approach. Are you worried that if we consider healthcare as a right in the state of Vermont, that the St. Johnsbury Police Department in the middle of the night is gonna break down your door and force you to treat a patient? Is this an immediate concern of yours? No. Okay, thank you. I wanna thank Senator Paul for being here, and it was a provocative, interesting discussion. I wanna thank mostly the panelists for being here. I think we're discussing an issue of great importance, and again, thank you all for your participation.